For the first time in history, government's budget is over a trillion rand. Just on goods and services and machinery and equipment, and the guys that know SCOA, it's the level three on the SCOA chart of accounts. Just on goods and services and machinery and equipment, government is spending 136 billion. 136 billion, ladies and gentlemen. If we can save 10%, it's 13 billion. Do you know how much we can do with 13 billion rand? We are under increasing pressure from the public and from the Minister of Finance and from the Auditor General to up our game, to be responsible for the decisions that we are making. In the Auditor General report, procurement is still one of the six risk areas that needs attention. And as Andre said earlier this morning, we need to escalate procurement up the agenda. Our procurement system, according to the unintended consequence, or maybe it's an intended consequence of the PFMA, is mainly decentralized procurement, fragmented procurement. We duplicate our efforts a thousand times over. Inconsistency in prices. We pay the same supplier for the same commodity, different prices. Difference in prices between government departments, different prices between us and the private sector. Sometimes we don't even have a common direction or policy position in certain of our commodities. I'm just thinking about broadband or software licensing, do we have a government one direction policy as to what do we need, how do we need to think about these things? Sometimes we are lacking standardization and common items. School furniture, it's the same across all departments. One desk is another desk. Why do we not standardize on our commodities, on our items that is common? All of these above things gives us lesser control in our monitoring capabilities and it opens the door for abuse and corruption. This is where strategic procurement can start playing a role and I want you to remember some of these key words. Strategic sourcing is collaborative. It's a structured process of critically analyzing your organization's spending and using that information to make informed decisions about how you procure your goods and services in line with your organization's strategic objectives. It is a systematic process that directs you as the supply chain manager to plan and manage and develop your supply base in line with government's objectives in general.